What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Starr again. Welcome back to my Lombok series. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the beautiful constructors. So in constructors, what we have in Lombok is a new argument constructor. So new argument supplied. Required arguments constructor. So that's used to explicitly set final fields and things that have to be instantiated in the constructor of a, of a class. And we have an all args constructor if we want to set all arguments. So that's how we know it here. So let's go ahead and write new args constructor. So as you can see, we don't we don't have we have a new args constructor at the moment because we don't actually set a constructor. So if I go ahead in here and write all args constructor, well you'll know that now this doesn't compile because it wants all fields. So it's generated a constructor for us with all fields. Well, if we want to bring back the new args constructor, that's cool. Bring it back in. So now we have two constructors: one with new args and one with full args. And if we did have any final fields. What we would be able to do is use required args constructor, and that would enable us to uh, generate any fields that were required. So if I type one of them final, I save that. The, the data annotation actually explicitly overrides that, so I don't need to set that. So that would be cool. And of course, now we can't have a new args constructor because we have a final field. So that's one way you can um, generate constructors in your class. I hope you enjoyed that. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of Lombok, where I'll be showing you loads, loads more cool stuff. Stay tuned.